Afternoon everyone, it's uh, Retro Junkie UK here with the first of hopefully many, many, well say many, we'll see, uh, car boot pickups and actually this one isn't just a car boot pickup, it's a car boot pickup and something I got off, uh, bought off Facebook actually. So let's start shall we with uh, the first of many. I, uh, I went to local car boot nearest me and uh, not much there, the only thing that was there was uh, Excuse the camera works, first time I'm doing it, is Manhunt, which is complete and uh, cost me 50 pence. So it's not too bad, not too bad at all, 50 pence. And But like I say, that was it there, nothing else, just that. Looks like, it's, well, I did get there late because I didn't set off till 9 o'clock because it was, uh, I did go out last night, which, bit of a mistake when I knew I was going to car boot, but it had to be done. Then I went to the other car boot and first thing I saw as soon as I got there was this. It's a uh, play, PlayStation bag which it looks, the bloke says, I've never used it mate. Yeah, I didn't know whether to believe me or not, but it does look like it has never been used. Nothing inside it like, but, but for a quid it's worth it. Which, uh, we'll see. Quid, can't go wrong. So, PlayStation bag there, and that. So, I carried on walking around the car boot, and next thing I saw was uh, Wipeout Fusion. Most of these games I got from the car boot are PS2 games because I'm actually looking for Saturn games, but they're just hard to find. Very hard to find on car boots. But, Wipeout Fusion, full thing, book, insert, disc. Disc looks in good condition, I think. Yeah, disc looks in good condition. So I'm happy with that. 50 pence that was again. Not bad at all. And then I carried on walking round and uh, I saw a stack of, uh, no, I'll show you now, a stack of uh, PlayStation games on one table. So I walked up, started having a look through as you do. And as soon as I started looking through, he just says, you know, I've a lot for two quid, mate. So I just pulled two quid out of my pocket give him it, all them for two quid. So let's go through and see what we got. We got uh, Buzz, the big quiz, which is, looks complete. Yep, yeah, complete, so the disc is, disc is mint. Well, I don't know if I'll ever use it, but play it, but it's there, it's the collection. Another one again, Buzz. I think there's about three Buzz games here. Yeah, there is, yeah. He must have been a Buzz man. Uh, yep, complete again. Disc is, yeah, it's nice condition that disc. Mint, so that's two. Then you've got uh, Summoner 2, which I, uh, I don't think I've ever played that. I've not played a lot of these games because I had a PlayStation 2 years ago, but I just played Final Fantasy 10 on it. That's all I did. Final Fantasy 10 non stop for about a year. Still never finished it like, but I, would, I, I had the guide, so I tried going through the whole thing. And yeah, some of the two looks uh, complete. Disc looks clean as well. It's not bad at all. I say all these lot for two quid, and then FIFA Street. Mm. I'm not one for football games, but it's uh, no, there's no book in it, and it's not even FIFA Street. It is. Uh, have a look there. Focus in a bit, I don't know if it can, is uh, International Superstar Soccer. Which is, ooh, that's scratched, I don't know, it should work, but it is scratched, but... Well, I've got a FIFA Street box and an International Superstar Soccer, so I need to find that. And then we've got, uh, well, what we've got here is a sealed, so I can't even open it to have a look, because I'm not going to. There's a sealed Who Wants to Be a Millionaire Party Edition. Supports... Uh, Buzz buzzers, no yeah, buzz buzzers. Then we've got uh, mm, Singstar Abba. Yes, I won't be playing that because I can't sing. That is the disc is in good condition with the book. So that's all right. Pro Evolution Soccer. Hmm. Hmm. Yeah, FIFA's poor cousin. Well, it's it's all there. And well, I say poor cousin. I can remember playing. Uh, Pez on the uh, original PlayStation, which we found was a lot better than FIFA. 
it would be a lot faster and a lot better game. We used to play it all the time. But yeah, disc is in good condition, the instructions are there. So yeah. Next we got the Lavonna Frontline Platinum Edition, which is not in there. Oh, right. But we've got uh, Fighting Fury. Never played it. Disc is in okay condition. But I just need to find Medal of Honor Frontline disc now then. I've got book, case, but no game. Ah, FIFA Street 2. Hmm, FIFA Street, really. Yeah, it's, it's complete, isn't it? It's, it's a game to add to the collection. Which, basically so far, this is my collection. And we've got FIFA Street again. Hmm, let's have a, which... Seems to have more than just FIFA Street in. Late Masters EX. Yep. That didn't do the damage. which is really lightly scratched all over it. I don't know if it's going to work. There's a, looks like a big scratch there. I'll give it a try. Uh, Rayman 3. And light scratches again. I think it's because these discs have been on top of discs and what have you. Uh, FIFA Street. Which is same again, light scratch, and Pro Evolution Soccer 5. Which has got some light scratches on it, but obviously no book or anything for that. I'll sort them out later, I'll put them to one side so they don't get scratched more. And we've got Tony Hawk's Underground. Which is, yes, it is the actual game inside. I am surprised. And the book and all the thing, yeah, Platinum Edition. Mashed, fully loaded. Which is comes with the book and the disc and uh, a disc slightly scratch. What's that? Looks like a chunk in the disc. Mm, I don't know if that's going to work or not. I'll give it a try. But like I say, two quid for this pile. It's, you can't really go wrong, can you? And that is uh, well. That hasn't even got mashed in. It's got a copied game in it, which basically can get choked. So I've got a mashed Drive to Survive box, but no game. Then we've got Buzz again. The Hollywood quiz this time, which uh, is complete, and uh, the disc looks good. But uh, he didn't have the controllers there, though. The Buzz controllers. He had all the games, but not the controllers. But it's not a problem. Then Tiger Woods 06, which has got the game in, yep, and the book and everything, yep. I can't get it out. So oh, it's fiddly trying to do this one. Let me swap hands because I am right handed. And I still can't get it out. Story of my life. Oh. Anyway, it's Tiger Woods Golf. I can't be asked getting it out. And then finally on that stack was. Uh, PlayStation 2 official magazine demo with Stuntman, uh, Project Zero, Men in Black 2, Fireblade, Army Men, and some uh, footage of other games. So, sit down, I'll pop that later. Like I say, they was two quid. Can't run for two quid, can you? So, I carried on round and uh, there was a vendor. I eat vendors because they always jad more than what it should be. Well, I thought, I'll have, while I'm on the PlayStation 2 thing, I'll have a look. And he did have Buzz controllers with uh, three games. One of them was Buzz, the other two was some totally different Sing Star, which I'd already got and what have you. How much you want for them, mate? I want uh, a fiver for the controllers and three games. I mean, well, I've already got the Buzz games, so I only want controllers. So, ended up paying two quid for him, but. It's two quid in it. Two quid for four con uh, for the buzz controllers. Not bad. I'll give them a clean and maybe try and find some different ones later. But also in his thing, he had a Tiger Solid 2, Sons of Liberty, which actually, which actually is this the one that uh, yes, because he had two of these, two of them. One of them had an absolutely knackered case, absolutely knackered, and this case. A lot better, but he only had one disc in. So I swapped out what was in the other other one, which had the uh, this bump, but no instruction manual. I'll have to try and get one. 
but in the other one it had the game and also this, the making of DVD. So I got that, chucked it in the thing and that was that. And he also had Snake Eater without the instructions yet again. And that's just a thing for the, uh, yeah, the book, the guide. But, uh, yeah, good, good disc. So I got two Metal Gear Solid, Metal Gear Solid 2 and 3, and also Grand Theft Auto 3, which I don't know if it came with a map. I was looking through, it's the same thing again, I can't get the disc out. There we go. Which is, disc is, uh, yeah, a couple of light scratches, but what do you expect for a game of GTA 3? It's going to be, going to have been played to death, isn't it? Comes with a book. But like I say, I don't know if there was a map or not, because I can't remember, because I never actually had GTA 3, but there is a little map inside. So, so them, them three, I'm not very happy about it, but they cost me a fiver for them three, which is, but it's three good games, so yeah, it'll do, you know what I mean? And then I carried on round, and just as I was leaving, out the corner of my eye, this caught me eye. GTA PlayStation Platinum. 50 pence complete with a disc that looks like it's never been used. So I'm quite happy with that. So this is the first one for now. I'll be back uh, in a minute with a second one because my battery's running out on my camera so I can't really carry on and show you my other things which I bought off uh, Facebook. But I'll be back in a bit once it's charged up and uh, show you them.